Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann. And your side of the Christ, your side of the Messiah, your side of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah, I've done a video concerning that one greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the wicked dirty diaspora because that's what it is i call it as it is all over the world where they've scattered us i greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming king yesiah the christ king of yashahel and to the beautiful body of christ of the church hallelujah whom our great king is coming back for without spot wrinkle or blemish i greet you all in his glorious name yes i the christ all right you can skip this bit and find the main message all right i am going to do some housekeeping remember my name is sakarian it is in solid gray border with a little tick by the side um anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked dirty demon you need to rebuke and report them continue to watch a video to the end there's a there's a surprise there's a sinner's prayer there for you and we do something called the top 20 and the beautiful beloved in the most high um i give your name a little shout out all right first top 20 or 24 people that's what it is continue to like the videos continue to um share the videos continue to watch the end and make your presence known in the comment section all right make your presence known in the comment section which means go in the comment section communicate with brothers and sisters if you have not yet subscribed hit that bell notification button and the subscription button brothers and sisters all right um and if you're new let us know if you're new to this channel all right uh thank you for those of you who have blessed me through paypal and other means i really appreciate it yes it's been my bread and butter i'm not ashamed to tell you it has been and i thank each and every one of you very very much all right okay we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful glorious magnificent messiah yes haya the christ hallelujah but we are also near to the revealing of the lawless dirty antichrist which is about to step on the scene very very soon you need to read revelate daniel chapter 7 verse 25 tells you that type that Satan through the Antichrist will change times, laws, and season, and this world will look like Mad Max. It will look like the book of Eli, that type of post-apocalyptic, wicked, dirty world. Nothing good you're going into, brothers and sisters, because there's no good in the devil. He's a dirty lie. Everything is a father of lies, father of deception, father of cruelty, father of wickedness. So you cannot, yeah, you don't want to have no lot or part with satan anything that belongs to the devil give it back to him like literally yeah you need to be prayed found worthy to escape because we're going to escape certain things woman in revelation 12 please read revelation 12 where the 12 stars are on her head represent the 12 scattered tribe all over the diaspora all over the world haya is going to regather the 12 tribes and you have to pray to be found worthy to escape just like Moses' first exodus, a second exodus will happen. And it will happen before the sixth seal open. So no expecting Yesaya to come for nobody. Because he needs to regather the true seed of Ahaya. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Most High. So pray to be found worthy. All right. We have a prophetic theme song. Hallelujah to the Most High. Our prophetic theme song is a song that my good old mummy taught me when I was a little girl. She's a hide sweeties and toys and all sorts and play a little game with the children. And she sing a song that, that goes like this. Um, how near you are. Fitting song for these end time. Fitting song for this prophetic channel. And the song goes like this. Hallelujah. This is our theme song. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near How oh, near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near Hallelujah Yes, we are near and we can sing that song with 
Right, confidence. All right, remember, I have two ministries. One for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered all over the world. All right. Now, brothers and sisters, listen, I'm back on this Damar Hamlin. All right, Hamlin. I'm back on this case. Mm. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Listen, <laughs> let me just quickly say this to you. When you become a true, I'm not talking the fake, phony, wannabe, false prophetess and prophets. When you become a true prophetess or a true prophet of the Most High, uh, He has called you to do that work. One of the key ingredients of, of um, delivering the word of the Most High uh, is obedience. Have to be obedient. Obedience is a key to become a prophet or a prophetess. Without that, yeah, you, you'll do your own thing. And I'm so glad that I'm obedient to the most. High. Now, yesterday I did a video concerning Damar. And in that video, brothers and sisters, I expressed how I felt concerning this Damar situation that something is amiss. That something does not feel right. And we are not saying that Ahaya cannot heal because he is the ultimate healer. We know he is the great physician. So we have no qualms or query or trust concerning his miracle and his healing for this young man. But something is desperately wrong. Listen to me very, very carefully, brothers and sisters. And I went on you you yesterday and i delivered that message and i said to brothers and you know, i'm going to leave it pin actually i'm going to now I can have a playlist because this is my third my third video on Damar. check out the playlist please um so i said in that video something is desperately wrong something isn't this up in bed tweeting this that what of you something is absolutely desperately wrong all right okay i'm gonna tell you what the lord showed me and everything in the video i said why didn't the family members come out because right now it's the dirty yeah dirty it's a dirty mean dear that's taking over the information feeding us with this day my guy what's happening oh glorious he is this that was it's the mean dear it's the doctors politicians everybody else except the people that's close to him because remember i did a video last year for little boy i said pray for this little boy he's called archie he's passed away now right i said pray for this little boy but this little boy was in the mean dear almost every day but it wasn't the media that was talking on his behalf it was the mom it was the mom literally coming out and saying, you know, we need to pray when he's doing well, he's what a blinking. It, it was the mommy. Not the me. Right now, who is telling us what's going on with Damar? Yeah, it's the media. It is them. Can you trust them? No. So something isn't right, something is amiss. I did that video, and brothers and sisters are agreeing. I said, yes, Sister Karen, you're absolutely right. There's something that's not right concerning this guy. Because I truly believe he died on the pitch. I do. I truly believe that. And when the incident happened, yes, 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 a lot of people came out straight away and said, yes, it is the moon milk. Because we know that he has eaten a couple slices of the pudding. We know he has drank the poison. We know. He has done it, brothers and sisters. And so, the wicked picked up on this situation. They said, oh, hang on, they're coming for, for us. They're, you know, we can't let them know that the moon milk is wicked. Because they will do everything to hide that the moon milk is, is, is causing people, especially the athletes, to drop like flies. So something wasn't right. All right. Okay. Did that video. In the video, I, I love brothers and sisters because I really listen. In the video, I said, I need to see a picture. That's what I said in the video. I need to see a picture of Damar. I said, I need to see him sat up in bed or whatever. Or not really sat up in bed, but I need to see something. I said, and if they, when they discharged him, discharge him, he needs to come out. He needs to speak to the... We want to see him. 
Like literally want to look in his eyes. We want to see him. With, if they come and say, look, he's been discharged in the middle of the night. Then you know something is wrong. Or even if he's discharged and he's wearing a dark glass or something. Something that's covering up. Then something is desperately wrong. Okay. So brothers and sisters picked up on that. So went in the comment section. few brothers and sisters came on. Said Sister Carrie and Damar took a photo. We're like, whoa, I didn't know this. And I did, the first message that I saw, Damar took a photo in the hospital. I put underneath it, please where can I find this photo? Because I didn't know. Because if I did know, I would talk about it. I didn't know. I had no idea. Because I don't follow him like that. Only when the most I give me a word, I'll come to you. So, I went into my email. And the first email that came through was a beloved sent me. It was about 50 seconds long. Beloved said, here's a video. That's so what I said. Here is a video of them are sitting up in bed all right so i thought oh okay all right i said all right oh, i want to see this photo isn't it yeah okay fine but still something was wrong and i'm and you know when i clicked on the video before i watched the video when i was going over to the youtube i said father all right i asked for evidence but why is it that i still feel like something is wrong like it doesn't feel right anyways Clicked on the video and it was a still photo of Damar, which I don't know who these people are, but it was his mom, I don't know if his mom, but this was a lady on the left, a man on the right, he was in the middle and it's just a still photo with the robot saying Damar is up in bed and he da da da, you know, that, that type of, 50 seconds long. So I said to myself, I said, all right, I said, okay. I don't know this guy in terms of how he looks physically. So what I did, I was moving according to the spirit of a higher inside of me. So I clicked on a part where I could view his um, where I could view his face properly. So I clicked on it, swipe it, screenshot it, and it oh screen screenshotted it. Listen to me very carefully. When I screenshotted this photo, and I'm going to show you some shots, it went obviously into my gallery, isn't it? The Lord said, blow up the photograph. Pinch it so you can see what you're looking at. Obviously, pinched it, and he has his, his hands in a little heart shape sort of thing. Brothers and sisters, the phone nearly fell out of my hands. When I look into this guy's eyes, mighty God of creation, my God. Those of you in Babylon, US, you know this day, Marga, I don't, all right? Never heard about him. But listen to me, when I pinch that photo, my God, and I begin to look into this guy, the phone literally nearly fell out my hands because I was looking at an entity. Do you hear what I said? I was literally looking at an entity. A higher never lies, brothers and sisters. He never lies. He cannot lie. I did the video yesterday and I said to brothers and sisters, something is not right concerning this day, Mark, guys. Something is desperately wrong. And they're tricking us. I do believe they're tricking us, brothers and sisters. Well, I really believe they are. And I looked at this guy and I said, oh my gosh. Put my hands on it. Catch my phone quick. I can never fill up man. Because the, the, the photo was so airy. As I looked in his eye, there was nothing there. You need to go. I think his photo is on Twitter. Uh, you can find it. Go Google or, or, you know, go on his account wherever you can find him. And the, the latest picture that he took with him. Two people by his side, and he's in this number three. Ladies in number three, guys in number three, and it's all <sighs> ritual. It's all ritual and it's all coded. Ritual and coded. The fool and the people, why? Mighty God of creation, if we don't have discernment in these last days, the Antichrist is going to fool some of us. We're going to fall for the false prophet. Because if we cannot use discernment in these things, 
just because people are praying and saying all sorts of calling the name of to call him Jesus doesn't mean that you know he's moving so I said father what is this I said who is this right remember I don't know Damar I don't know like even when he collapsed and stuff like that I haven't really looked at his photos and stuff so when I looked at the entity because that's what I'm going to call it entity I don't think that's Damar or if that's same there's something inside of him all right so as I look, and I'm not disrespecting Damar, I'm the real, the real Damar, I'm not disrespecting the real one, right? But this one that's in the bed, that's tweeted, and let me just quickly say this. I mean, listen, as a born again child of the Most High, we love when Ahaya heals people and they come out and give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Give him all the honor. Give him all the praise. This this entity didn't. All it did was O M, the F word G in the photo. O M F, the F word G. Oh my, the F word G. What? I mean, you you just coming out of a heart attack that nearly killed you, and you're posting that. And all the posting is about football. Did we win or did we do this? How oh, well we're doing and swearing and carrying on an entity. So anyways, I said, no, Father, this isn't. I said, Lord, I don't know this Damar guy. So I typed into Google Damar Hamlin photos. No, Damar Hamlin. And I clicked on images. Mm hmm hallelujah listen i clicked where am i i clicked on images isn't it because i want to know if this is how damar really looks brothers and sisters where is it gone let me find it mighty god of creation listen no sir mm -mm. all right all on brothers and sisters let me let me quickly i'm gonna have to clean my ipad just just hold on one second this is Listen, the devil is a lie. We shall not be fooled. Glory, I'm coming back. Hold on. Hallelujah. Yes, brothers. My iPad was a little bit dirty, so I had to go and, and clean it. But, so I look. <laughs> so I went on Google and I typed in Damar. All right. Typed in Damar. Let me bring up. So this is a photo that came up of Damar. This is the original. <laughs> this is the original Damar, isn't it? I'm sure this is him. That's him. Isn't it? My beautiful American, beautiful brothers and sisters in the most I can confirm. But that's what they say. They say, this is Damar. So this is the original Damar that we're looking at. This guy here. Hebrew Yashahelite. He's a Hebrew. Hebrew Yashahelite we're looking at. Young man. Okay? So, I said, all right. So what I did, I screenshotted the one the entity on the bed with the original totally different <laughs> so this is what I did look at the eyes of the one in the bed so that's the original one how is this Damar somebody just speak to me look at the eyes of the guy in the blue and look at the eyes of the original Damar the guy in the blue or the entity or what it is the entity in the blue you can see the white the original day the white underneath his eyes isn't it like all right the white there's no body there <laughs> you might say also security is sick so you know when people are sick the eyes look a little bit droopy and you know they just have that sickly look there's a massive difference between a sickly look and a look that looks demonic. And I'm saying with this person in the bed, they say it's Damar, all right? They say that's what they say. I'm saying looking at this photo, you need to do your own research. But looking at this photo of the De the Damar that the media is pushing, all right? The eyes of this man mighty god of creation i know it's a bit blurry you need to go 
Find that photo, blow it up yourself, look in his eyes. But the eyes, no, no, this is not Daymar. I don't care what nobody want to say. That's not him. It's a bit dark. I mean, it's thingy life, isn't it? Oh, let me see if I, if I turn off this. Let's turn off that. <laughs> Even worse. Oh, maybe a little bit better. I'm not sure. But I know that it's flashing back. But brothers and sisters, this is the Daymar. Look, look, look again. That's him. Look at the eyes. There's nobody there. No, but you look at the eyes and look at this uh, two different business going on here. This is the Daymar, the health of Daymar, right? But even if he's sick, but the eyes is what I'm looking at. Two, two totally different eyes. Even when I'm sick and I'm on my deathbed, all right? Well, not on my deathbed, but even when I'm sick and, you know, your eyes go a little bit like... But you're still you, isn't it? Turn on about this one. You, you, you're literally still you. I, I cannot lie. The mean dear has taken over the case of this guy and feeding the people what they want to hear. Something isn't right. Something isn't right. You know, a lot of people say, Sister Karen, it was a ritual. Because I don't watch football. NFL business. I don't understand it, honestly. So I'm not going to pretend. But few brothers and sisters are saying, Sister Karen, when you watch a game, there was a guy that was standing, everybody was kneeling. One man was standing in the number 33. He is number three. Uh, it's, you know, coded. Some, some are saying, what are they called? The, bu the Buffalo Bills, meaning that the, the dollar bill will collapse soon. Maybe true. Maybe, maybe true. Lots of stuff in it, brothers and sisters. Lots and lots of stuff. I don't know who this one is in the hospital. I'm sorry. But if this is the Daymar, which I believe he is, this this one, this is the real Daymar. That's him. Isn't it? That's the real one, I suppose, because that's what they said on Google. That's Daymar right there. This other one over here, I, I, I don't know. I don't know who that one is. <laughs> I'm sorry. You may, you may see my video, this day, Marga. I may see my video and think, oh, or the entity, I don't know. The, from like, oh, what is she on about? I don't know who this guy is. I have no idea who this fellow is. Not one idea. I don't, the eyes, it's scary. When I say scary, I don't mean I'm frightened or anything like that. But it's very airy. So, it, it, it's airy. The, the, the whole photo is airy. And... And then again, oh my God, the creation, Father. I wish I were talking about something else rather than this one. But anyways, I have to wake up the church, isn't it? Um, but then you have, okay, so this is him. So <laughs> these people, I don't even know. They still listen to Satan. All right. So you have Daymar. So you say, they say it's Daymar, right? An entity anyways. That's it. You have them in the bed. All of them got three, three, three. Um, mm. now, you just have an heart attack, and it's like, uh, whatever the pushing, the mean media, I'm talking about the media, whatever the pushing, they're using this situation to push it, for real. They're using the situation to push it, brothers and sisters. Now, I'm not into number business, number, number business. But, you know, um, yes, he's number three because that's his, I don't know, position or whatever. This is, that's his number, number three. So, obviously, well, his family or whosoever they be. Showing support, so the wear his t-shirt. But hear what's got to me now. I want to show you something. Because nothing don't miss my eye. I don't look at things carnally. Because I could look at this. Is it going? It can't go any bigger. I could look at this t-shirt, right? And says, oh, love for Daymar. Watch this. There's a t-shirt, isn't it? Love for Daymar. But I don't see that. Because of the number three. 
I don't see that when I'm looking at this love for Debar. What I actually see in the realm of the spirit is love for Satan, not Damar. That's how I read it. Of clearly, if you're reading it in the natural, you'll see love for Damar. That's that's because naturally with your natural eyes, that's what's written. Love for Damar, number three. When I was reading it in the spirit, through the Holy Spirit, I see love for Satan. This is deep, brothers and sisters. There's just something, something isn't right. I, I do believe there is some form of ritual behavior that is going on here. That the mean dear and the wicked elites are pushing. But everything that is hidden in darkness will come to light. It will. I don't know, brothers and sisters. They might say Sister Karen, it's 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 the good old Demar in bed. That's him. I don't the eyes, <laughs> them them eyes. That guy, him in the bed, and he's got the cheek to put. Not even, you know, in his tweet business. It, why? I mean, the old. You just come back from the dead, put it that way. You come back from the dead, right? Millions of people all over the place praying for you. The first thing when you wake up, all right, maybe you're going to be disorientated. I don't know. Just depending, right? But when you learn or you, you begin to speak, whatever, your family or the doctors or whatever, people have been saying, you know what, Damar? The whole world has been praying for you, mate. You know, the, the people really big. First thing logically that you would do the first tweet is to send out a tweet or whatever and said i want to thank everybody for praying for me i really want to thank god give that as a beautiful testimony but oh no i think his first tweet was did we win did we win they said that he wrote it because he couldn't speak apparently he couldn't speak but the first thing that he utters out did we win but did he but did he write that though? Did he? <laughs> oh, Jesus, these people are wicked. Honestly. But did he really write that? That was his first. But waking up from a that's the first thing on his mind. Did we win? Something is amiss. There's a lot of um Time is going to tell. And I, and I wish that the family, I don't know. <laughs> this, this is deep. It's very, very deep, isn't it? It's very, very deep. This is only prayer business in his sick bed. See, he's got some tweets up here. This, demo, this person in the bed. They say it's demo. All right. But one of his tweets was, The love is felt and extremely real no matter race or religion everybody coming together in prayer yeah but where's the thank you heavenly father where where's that i'm looking for it then he's tweeted again in his sick bed game time then he's tweeted again in his sick bed i'm not even gonna say it i'm gonna let y'all read it for yourself all right there you go o m f g what what what's that all about mate so I'm still looking for, thank you, the Bible call him Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where is that? Where, where, is, where is it? He's swearing and carrying on, but where is your thank you to the Most High for bringing you back from the dead? But we know that this, this, they say that this is him. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not convinced. Something is, something isn't right. I felt it in my spirit. That's why I did that video yesterday, brothers and sisters. Love for Damar. That's what it reads. Love for Damar. But I don't see it like that. I see it in the spiritual realm, I see love for Satan. 
That's what I see. Love for Satan. Did we win? Are you catching that in your spirit? Did we win? And you might think to yourself, oh, he's talking about the game, really. Learn to look at things in the realm of the spirit. This is high time for high discernment. Because if you can't discern things that's going on in the natural right now, how are you going to cope with the Antichrist? Because when that man comes on the scene, he's going to be... The, listen, when he begins to speak, he's going to melt a lot of people like butter. Because it's going to be so believable, so convincing, so realistic that your discernment go right through the window. Because you just believe he's the real deal. Same thing with the false prophet. You have to, they call us conspiracy theorists, don't it? Oh. When we, because we see things differently. Did we win? So that was his first message. Apparently, did we win? All right. You see that, and it sounds like he's talking about the football. I don't see that. <laughs> I don't. That's. I don't read it like that. I don't read it like that. Did we win? Did we pull it off, basically? Discerning of spirit. Learn to discern things. Did we pull it off? You might say, oh, Sister Kerryan, but maybe the wicked didn't know that the good old day Mar was going to collapse, really. You think so? Mm, you, you really think so? I think they didn't know. <laughs> Listen. Sorry to say this, but it's the truth. What I'm about to say is the truth. Those people of, who have eaten the moon, where there's one, two or three slices of the moon business, all right? Please know that you are 150% controlled by CERN, fifth generation, and every technology trail, trail in the sky, everybody going on, all these technologies. They've got your number. Because each vial of the moonshot has got a number, it's got a code on it. It's not the mark of the beast, obviously, all right? And the stuff that's in, the stuff that's in the moonshot, they, they control it. So it's like a, I don't want to say a computer chip, I have to be careful because dirty you, you, nano business. So you know that, okay, let me give you a classic example. When you got your mobile phone, or your cellular, as the Americans call it. You got your cellular, your mobile phone, and it's playing up. And you phone the company. And you said, look, my phone's not working. And they'll, te they'll tell you to do this, do that. Or they'll say, okay, we'll take control of your phone. Or we'll take control of your computer. And you see them taking control. You're not moving, but the people on the other side. Taking control of your computer, doing all the diagnostic, trying to fix your computer. It's the same thing with the moon shot. It's the same thing. They know they can control these people. They can let them drop like fly. So I know and I believe that they knew that Dema was going to go down. They knew. They knew. Ritual. They know, brothers and sisters. This is this is deeper. Certain things I just don't want to say on here, honestly. But this is this this is deeper than what 
what people are seeing with their natural eye, but may the truth comes forward. May the truth comes forward. A lot of details. Go back. Go and um, sort out this guy. Go and look in his eyes and all of that. I don't know. I don't. Um, something. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Something isn't right, brothers and sisters. And I know some of you say, well, Sister Karen is sick. When people are sick, the high goes a bit. They have, <coughs> sorry. When people are sick, they kind of have like dead eyes. Yeah, they may have dead eyes, but it's not demonic. This, 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 this one. It wrong. <laughs> I'm speaking patwa. It wrong. It wrong. Something, you know, it's not right. Mm -mm. Two different eyes here. I want to show it one more time. Oh, God. I'm trying to clean me. These iPods, they get smeared so quickly. I want to show it one more time because this. One more time. One more time for the road. One for the road. All right. Right. So that's the good old day, Mar, with his dreadlocks. Uh, this one in the blue hat. I have no idea who that one is. <laughs> I, no, I don't know. I don't know who that guy is, brothers and sisters. But he don't look like the day, Mar. The eyes are just so... There's nothing there. Nothing. Zero. Nobody home. Nothing is there for him. Oh my God. Father, help us. A higher of creation. Deception is real. I have never seen the mean they are taking over somebody's care like this. Now all over the place, every news article, everybody, you type in into Google like when I, yesterday, I would type like, I would type in his family and or I would type in like Daymar because I wanted to see his photo. And everybody, all these news articles, they're speaking for him. Like... Like literally, literally speaking for the for the young man, oh, whosoever, whosoever is in the bed, all right, the speak, the speaking. Where's the family? And I gave the example, like I say, when I pray for that little boy called Archie. He was in the papers every day, almost well every day, really. But it was the mummy that was speaking, not the mean dear. It was the mummy was saying, you know, he's doing this, he's doing that. Ray, Ray, Ray. But I wonder if they're saying to the family, keep quiet, we will deal with Damar. We will give the information. Because it's all about, it's not right. It's not right. Something isn't right, brothers and sisters. Something is, something is desperately wrong. <laughs> Desperately wrong. Mm. Not right. Something isn't right in my spirit, and it's still not right. And you might say, oh, you might say to me, oh, Sister Karen, well, there's the evidence. You say you want to see a photo, cause I did in my first video yesterday. I said I want to see a photo of them, or, or I want to see him wheeled out in a wheelchair, or walk out, talk to the press. I want to see his eyes. I want to look in his eyes. You know, whatever, whatever. I want to see. And then, lo and behold, brothers and sisters have been sending me loads of photos. There you are, Sister Carrie and Dame are in bed. That's not enough because I don't know who that one is. Not looking at the photographs from the original Dame are. The original one. I don't know who that fellow is. I have no idea. But all I'm saying, and I'm looking at his eyes, I'm seeing a sharp entity. That's what I'm seeing in the bed. A sharp entity. So, am I satisfied with that photo? Absolutely not. I'll be foolish to say, oh yeah, this is a good old day, Mar. I'm satisfied. No, no. If he, you know, if his eyes look, you know, take the photo in the bed and his eyes look like the real one. If his eyes look like this, then I could say, oh, all right, yeah, yeah, that's Damar, that's the guy, that's the, you know, Hebrew Yashahelite, that's him right there. 
and I would be satisfied. And I wouldn't be doing this video because I, you know, in my heart I would be satisfied. I say, okay, Father, that's the day, Margai. But you send me photos, brothers and sisters, of this. Well, who is that? Who, let me turn this off again. Uh, who is this one? Who is him? Because I don't know this one. Who is it? There's nothing there. I can't say this is Dema. I don't know who he is. <laughs> oh, mighty God of creation. <clears throat> We're very raw on this channel. That's who we are. We're very, very raw over here. And we speak the heart of the Most High. And we cannot be fooled. As long as you watch this channel, you will not be fooled. And you cannot be fooled. Because you will always be in the know-how. So that deception don't take you. Remember, brothers and sisters, remember that Satan, dirty Lucifer, is the prince of the air. Always remember that. And if he's the prince of the air, it simply means that he will control the mean dear. And those people who work in the media, listen to me, have a lot to answer for because their lying tongues is going to cleave to the roof of their mouths because they so lie. And pumping up misinformation. You know, these dirty elites are running up and down, cancelling everybody. You come out, you speak the truth, and they cancel you. They take your video down, they shut down the channel, and the dirty, mean, dear, are the liars. They're the one who are giving misinformation because they're not truthful. They work for Satan. And so therefore they tell the people what the devil wants to tell them. But their tongues is going to cleave to the roof of their mouths. It will. Because they lie. And may the truth concerning this day mark guy comes out may the truth the whole truth nothing but listen to me listen to me brothers and sisters i would not be surprised if tomorrow they come out and said oh dema was doing very well he was doing absolutely well, tweeting, FaceTiming, WhatsApping, phone calling, video calling, all the lots. But unfortunately, his heart went again. Oh, would you be surprised? Be honest with me. Would you be, would you be like, oh no, I thought God healed him. I wouldn't be surprised. It would just confirm everything that I've been telling you. Would not be surprised. Make all the money you can. Set up memor memorabilia. This, that in his name. Get all the money you can. Make all the money. And then tell the people that his heart stopped again. Very wicked. The devil is a dirty lie. Absolutely dirty lie. But if they do that. If they come out and say. Oh, you know. Damaris died this time. Or his heart to stop. Or try to save him for the third time. He couldn't. No, because he's all, he was gone on the pitch. Like, yeah. People don't understand the moonshot. Don't think people understand this stuff. I know how wicked it is. Before Damar hit the floor, he was already gone. Like, before it actually fell backwards. Because they stopped his heart, isn't it? They did it. Because they've got his number from the moonshot. Just like a computer, touch of a button, or however they do it, then that's it. They know. These people are very, very wicked. Please understand that. 
There are fallen angels in high places that runs this earth. And they're the demonics in human form and everybody. It's a fallen world, brothers and sisters. And you got to be wise, very, very wise. As you travel through this pilgrim land, waiting for the returning of the Messiah. Some people will. Well, everybody will. But equally, waiting to go into the second exodus. You have to be wise, very, very wise, maneuvering your way through this pathway. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. So, oh, look at the time. Let me finish now. Oh, gosh, it's a bit late. I'm not going to do the top 20 brothers and sisters because it's a bit late. Time is gone. All right, let's do the benediction. So, uh, be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with a higher just like Enoch and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most that a higher who lives above the heavens. A higher eternal bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon someday in glory. In your silence, holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.